Yeah. Attention. I'm on my way. I won't be long. The site is full of traps. Trinity's not done with it yet. They're protecting something. Six weeks. Yeah. Still no solid leads on who's leading the local Trinity cell. But I talked to some people in town. And they're excited. There's a VIP coming to the Day of the Dead. Name's Dominguez. We should look into it. Wait, be careful. Trinity is an ancient and secretive organization ruled by an Illuminati-like High Council that has existed since the time before Christ. They are determined to find and exploit all of the ancient artifacts of the world. I've been hunting them since I found out they killed my father. Jonah and I have tracked down so many Trinity cells since then. But all of the other ruins and tombs we found were destroyed, except the one in Cozumel. I need to find out what they're after, what their endgame is, and stop them.
Laura! Wow. Get a load of this place. Guess all that research paid off. Now we know what Trinity is after. Yeah, they really didn't want us in here. I'm glad we followed your father's notes. I saw where the passage collapsed on you back there. You want me to take a look at that wound? No, I'm fine. What is all this? Constellations. This inscription is some sort of riddle. Pink fish. Pink fish? Silver crowned mountain. There's a date here. But something's off. It looks like it was damaged, perhaps intentionally. Why would Trinity sabotage this? They usually just destroy everything. No, I think the damage is older. But who would have tampered with it? Laura! <gasps> you gotta get out of here. Drag me out, I'd still be in there taking pictures. We'd still be in there. Don't know if you'd be doing much. Tona. Hey, you want to freshen up? Regroup at the cafe. Dr. Dominguez is supposed to be there tonight. Sounds good. I'll try and decipher the riddle, see if the date has anything to do with it. Right. Pink fish, Silver Crown Mountains, I'll look into it. By the way, this cafe is supposed to have really good food. I know the chef. Yeah, I'm not very hungry. <laughs> After all of that, I'm sorry. There he is. Nothing new on Dr. Dominguez? Not much. He's leading a few Trinity digs in the area. My father mentioned him in his journal more than once. He's an expert on pre-colonial ruins. Everyone says he's a great guy. Big help to the town. So how's your leg? Turn to look. The riddle. Its directions. To find the hidden city, go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. I, I found something for that. It's pink dolphins. Found only in the Amazon. It goes on, um, then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver-crowned mountain. Look at this. It's the constellation Hydra, the serpent. This star is the heart. It's set in the southwest. So southwest from the Amazon River. Brazil. Peru. Peru? Okay. This date from the ruins. See, if you look closely, it is damaged. This number looks like a Maya 13, but what if it's really an 8? With procession, it... What? Uh, procession. The Earth tilts, so over time, these stars appear in a different place on the horizon. Important if you're navigating by the night sky. Okay. In the Maya calendar, that's a 2,000-year difference. Back then, the heart of the serpent set directly to the west. So, that's why it's in Peru, not Brazil. Trinity has been looking in the wrong place. Exactly. We need to look for the silver-crowned mountain in Peru. There's more. Um, something about uh, a key. What is Trinity looking for in the hidden city? Doctor, we found it. Yes? Show me. You heard that too, right? Let's see where he goes. Wait, hold on. Trinity's watching this place. Let's try to blend in. Trinity's people are armed. I heard they brought in reinforcements. I'll stay out of their way. To find the hidden city, Go south along the shore until you find the pink fish. Then chase the heart of the serpent to the silver-crowned mountain where the twins confer. 
This is the star Alphard, the solitary one, the brightest star in the western sky in the heart of the Hydra constellation. 2,000 years ago, it's set in the west. That's where I hope to find the hidden city. In the Maya long count calendar, all dates have five numbers. This numeral was damaged to look like a 13, but what if it's really an eight? That's a 2,000 year difference and the constellations would be in a completely different position. So the star path would lead west to somewhere in Peru. The last number on the left pillar is zero. I want to avoid what happened with the last cell we took down. They must know we were at the other site. So much for a night off. Where did Dominguez go? Can't be far. He must be in the courtyard somewhere. Yeah. Let's look around. Someone must know something. Hey, Sammy, how's it going? Gracias, Jonah. Where'd he go? Let's keep looking. Can you believe it? This one was caught drinking the ofrendas. <laughs> oh dear. I'm sure I was just as mischievous as a child. No need to punish him. But tequila will take care of that on its own. He drank enough. <sighs> All this food is making my stomach rumble. Guess you should have eaten. <laughs> I was too excited. As usual. Youth is wasted on the young, my dear. Looking. So I've heard. Not me, though. I had a proper wild youth. <laughs> Please, please, try some. It smells delicious. Oh, so now you have time to eat. I'm blending in. Any sign of him? No. Let's keep looking. <laughs> Look, for my father. Maybe I could light one for my mother. Damn, look at this beauty. I used to have one just like it. Rode it all the time. Why'd you stop? Went to Yamatai. Huh. There's so much happening here. I'd love to come back when we're not so busy. Something catch your eye? Just looking. You're English. <laughs> you should take a souvenir home. <laughs> Sorry, Juan. She already has too many souvenirs. <laughs> Okay, Jonah. How do you know everybody in town? Yeah, I talk to them. You should try it. I'm not really used to crowds. You'd rather storm guards or the deathless. No, this is fine. <laughs> You've certainly made an impression with the locals. I like you here. Good people. Jonah, he's at the gate. I see him. Good. Be sure I'm not followed. I think I can find another way over the wall. I'll take care of these guys. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Good. You can't come through this way. I heard there was some kind of a crazy fiesta 
like chicks, skull makeup. Y'all know anything about that? It's not for tourists. Ah, uh, no, you know Maria invited me. You know her? She's my cousin. My abuela, if she was from here, don't look like it. Um, I, I wanted to make like an offering. Or, what's that thing you do with the blankets? All right, uh, you know what? I can see you guys are busy. I won't waste any more of your time. Y'all keep on trucking. Thanks for your service. Keeping us safe. Jonah, I'm in. Good. Those guards weren't at the gate earlier. Dominguez must suspect something. Excuse me. Contact with the High Council, Commander. Yes, sir. Even after the fiasco in Brazil. No one questions your leadership in the organization. We've come too far to stop. Pardon. Jonah, Dominguez is not just the leader of the cell. I think he's the leader of Trinity. We need to be careful. Laura. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Disculpe, señorita. My fault. Someone set off a trap at the first sight. We think it was Croft. Wait. What's wrong? I want confirmation. No more guessing. I'll make sure we get visual confirmation. Jonah, they might have noticed me. I'll try the back alley. I'll find another way around. Doctor. Son muchos de sus hombres. We can never be too safe. You're very gracious. Thank you. We should go. Yeah, this is Commander Rourke. Dominguez wants confirmation Croft is here. You have the photo. Female. Caucasian. Early 20s. You got that? Well? Good. They'll find her. Good. I don't want anyone getting in there. Hey! Get out of my office. Sorry. Close the door when you leave. Right. Ah! Lo siento! <laughs> don't worry. Go, play. The readings at the site are unlike anything we've ever seen. It's the key to our next phase. If this is it, we'll be ready. Jonah, they've entered the dig site. It's fenced off and there's a guard at the gate. I'll find another way in. I found a good spot. I'll watch the perimeter. There's got to be more. 
more to these ruins. A Maya pyramid inside some sort of cave. To the ruins. You'll be far enough out of your shot. No, no, please. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. It's your own fault. Did you get it over with already? They want us back ASAP. Any final words? Wait, wait. I I'm a government official. I'm supposed to be here. Not anymore, Mr. Lead Archaeologist. Your employment has been terminated. Please, no. I have money. I can't. I won't hurt you. You work for Trinity. What did they find? Well, they've been searching for a temple entrance for many years. Today they found it. I have to go warn my sister. She's on her way here now. Jonah, Trinity just tried to kill a local archaeologist. Oh god. I have to find what they're looking for. This is Commander Rourke. All teams, get ready for Operation Blackout. This figure, Ishel, the goddess of the full moon. Oh, and this is Shakshal, the new moon. It's an inscription. Shakshal, the key lies beyond her gaze. Key. This is it. The entrance must be down there. I've got to make my way down. Ishel and Shakshal are two faces of the same goddess. Ishel is the young woman and represents life and healing. She's associated with the full moon. Shakshal is the old woman and represents death. She is associated with the new moon. Together as the twins, symbols of duality in the cycle of life and death. Look 
looking at that cave. I'm entering a cave. We may lose contact. Copy that. I'll keep an eye on Trinity out here. This cave looks like it's usually underwater. The carvings on this Maya monolith are far too deteriorated to read. Right. What is this place? The pre-Columbian ceramic jar seems to be depicting two gods in conversation. I can't quite make out the glyphs between them. Oh, smells vaguely fungi. Carving on this bowl depicts a procession of Maya carrying something of great importance to them. A silver square. What could that mean? Thank you. 
have to find the temple Dominguez is looking for. Jonah, I made it. I'm in an underground temple. Good. Whoa. That's not good. Laura, Trinity's blasting their way in. I can tell. It's causing tremors. There's a pyramid. I'm gonna get to the top. There are platforms that can help me reach the top. Looking for something to weigh them down. You're breaking up. Got some activity here. I'm gonna get closer. secondary party, a few days behind the main pilgrimage, reported strange things on the route. The beasts had become more ferocious, and the jungle itself more dangerous. The trees and vines gnarled and twisted, growing thorns as long as a man's finger and sharp as blades. Hmm. <laughs> 
Those worthy shall be sacrificed to the Red Goddess, she of the waning moon and she of the waxing moon, grandmother to all, life taker and birth giver. platform is stuck. Jonah! Yeah, I'm here. Jonah, there's a mural here. It shows a box. Inscription says, The Silver Box of Eshel. That must be what's in the Hidden City. This is a Maya myth. It says the box will summon the god Kugel Khan. The creation god? Is that what Trinity's after? Wait, there's more. Looks like a series of cataclysms. A tsunami, a storm, an earthquake, volcanic eruption. So much for the god of creation. Well, in my belief, Kugel Khan is the god of creation and destruction. Hmm. This looks like the Hydra constellation, but the stars seem out of alignment. I found a dagger. There's an inscription. The key to Ishel's heart unlocks the cleansing. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Hey, shit! Laura! Trinity guards are coming your way. Shit. 
Jonah, get to higher ground. Oh no, you took it, didn't you? Hurry. They're on their way. Who? Dr. Dominguez and more men. Apparently we found what we're looking for. Great. And the scene begins. Yeah, that's what the reinforcements are for. Yes, I heard you, okay? Dominguez is coming tonight. I get it. What I'm telling you is the rain has been a flooded. What the fuck do you think I'm doing? Check another water pump right now. Okay. Let's make sure everything's copacetic here. How's it going with that pump? <laughs> Answer me! You finished with that pump yet? Come and help me get these lights ready. Operation Blackout has been initiated. None of the local workers leave the site alive. Ah, fuck. We've planned for this. Make sure the perimeter's secure. What do you think is in there? I don't know, but I hear the readings are off the charts. Let's just make sure the perimeter is secure when Commander Rourke gets here. We'll be ready. Spectres are coming. Be ready. Fuck. Ah, don't worry. I'll fix it. This is taking way too long. If Dominguez has to wait for us when he gets here, it's not gonna be pretty. What's happening at the gate? The archaeologists are here. Oh. Your privileges have been revoked. Commander, Gamma Leader, Operation Blackout is complete. warm out our intentions here for ages. Well, they found out tonight. Hope it was worth it. <laughs> yeah, assholes should have minded their own business. Base camp, this is Gamma Leader. Where's our backup? Don't give me that shit. The site is secure. Base camp to outpost. Come in. Status? Moving to next grid. Copy that. Are those extra fuel canisters for the siege? Yep, got here five minutes ago. Is it smart to store them that close to the wall? Like I said, They've been dropped off. We'll move them deeper inside later tonight. Ah, oh, good. Last thing we need is for some gung-ho cop to lob a grenade over the wall, right on top of them. What now? Heading over there now. Where are the reinforcements? You can't hold this gate alone. What, what doesn't do belong here? Too much pressure, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Now what? I guess we just wait it out? Yeah. Damn it. We can't really afford the delay. We're supposed to be securing that wall. Load it up. Lazy shit. Now I have... The storm is coming in quick. Getting a strange feeling. Visual control! 
I hope we meet. You know I've been interested in your work. Trinity always is. <laughs> the key of Sasha. I've sacrificed my life for this. the silver box of Isha. Give it to me. It's in a safe place. You don't have it. It never occurred to me that you would just take this key and the silver box, we can remake the world without weakness, cruelty. And certainly with none of this. But without the box, the apocalypse, the death of the sun. You're lying. Lara, you felt it when you took the key. Tremors are common. But tsunami is coming. And this is the first of many catastrophes you're doing! You would have done the same! Cleansing has begun. It falls to me now. 
could stop it before it consumes us all. I lost it. After everything that my father went through, I gave Trinity exactly what they wanted. He'll use the box and the knife to remake the world. To remake it into what? I don't know. He thinks he can rid it of sin and weakness. A man like that, we... We have to stop him. It's all my fault. We'll figure it out, okay? I, I promise. 
No, 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 no! We have to get to the hidden city before Trinity. We have to find the silver box. Okay, but first we're gonna help these people get to safety, and then we'll go after the box. No, no one is safe. Not if he gets the box first. I have to go. I'm the only one. You're the only one that can what? You don't know that you caused all this, Lara. Not everything is about you. These people need us here. We can do good now. Besides, what do we got to go on? A riddle? We're gonna need more than pink fish and silver crowns to get to the hidden city. I'm gonna help these people, and then I'll find us a plan. I think we're looking for a volcanic mountain. The crown of silver is probably a band of clouds. I just can't get those people back there out of my head. They lost everything. The riddle says... Chase the heart of the serpent to the Silver Crown Mountain, where the twins confer. I wonder what the twins are. <sighs> this storm looks like bad news. It's just a little rain. We'll concentrate on the Cloudy Mountain. Cloudy Mountain. If we find it, how do we know we have the right one? Gut feeling? It's our only clue. The mural says there'll be more disasters. The best way we can help them is to put a stop to it and Trinity. Okay. But how do we really know? Jonah, what I felt when I took the dagger. You mean the tremors or the tsunami? More than that. It felt like I woke something up. I know that it's not practical. I know that it's hard to believe, but you need to trust me. We have to trust each other. Hey, I might have something over here. Really? That's it! I don't like this storm. Should we come back in the morning? We're so close. I guess a little turbulence wouldn't stop Trinity either. Miguel, is there anywhere to land? Yeah, I can put you down near Kuak Jaku. Let's go. What are you doing? I'm gonna let 
Dr. Pedro Dominguez is an archaeologist and expert in pre-colonial Maya history. My father mentioned him in his notes more than once. That's the lead Jonah and I were following up on when we came to Cozumel. His excavation in Cozumel was one of the last places my father visited before he was killed. If there is a connection, I want to find out what it is. I thought that Dr. Dominguez was only the leader of the local Trinity cell. I never imagined that he would turn out to be the leader of the High Council of Trinity. I'll keep this for later. getting closer. Someone's over there. I have to get to them. must be around. Hello? Jonah? Miguel? Can you hear me? Where are you? The monogram reads P-H-F. That has to stand for Percival Harrison Fawcett. This is the flight log from our plane. Miguel made notes about the long-term weather forecast. Warm, hot, and dry for the next three days. Highs in the low 30s, mostly clear skies with nothing but light rain expected. Based on his other entries, if Miguel had thought the chances of a severe storm were better than half, he wouldn't have flown us at all. But there was no storm predicted, let alone something serious. I didn't know the storm would hit so hard. This is all my fault. I should have listened to Jonah, thought it through. I never should have taken that dagger. I hope no one else was hurt. No other village destroyed. I need to stop these cataclysms before it's too late. Here, 
My gear is in that cargo. I'll need to cut it down. Won't be able to open that without a tool. Maybe a piece of scrap from the wreck. But it's dull. I need to find something to sharpen it. <sighs> exactly what I was looking for. Just need a bit more. August 9th. I am leaving this page here to assuage any mystery should the rest of this quest prove as fatal for me as it has been for my party. My name is Jack Fawcett. I set out from Cuyaba Mato Grosso on the 20th of April 1925 with my father, Percival Harrison Fawcett, and my best and longtime friend, Rally Rimmel, in search of Zed. I am the only one left. My father was lost to a pair of fierce jungle cats and rally to blunder. I myself am worse for wear but refuse to give up. My father believed we are close to Zed and so do I. So leaving two graves behind me, I will push west still with the hope that I am not walking to my own end.
In the early 19th century, this was used to measure the angle between an astronomical object and the horizon for the purposes of celestial navigation. There's an inscription here. To my son, Jack, may you never lose sight of your horizons. That should be sharp enough. <clears throat> Something's still holding the supplies up. Now I can get my gear back. Why didn't I pack all my equipment together? Miss Croft? Anyone? Come in! Miguel? Where are you? Damn!
Cusco belongs to Hernando Pizarro, rightful representative of the Spanish crown. Diego de Almagro has been captured. Rodrigo Orgones is dead, and the rest of their heretic forces routed. We made a crossing over the mountains and appeared on the coast outside of Cusco. Orgones marched to meet us at Cachupampa, a poor choice for his cavalry. His falconets threw Gonzalo's infantry charge into disorder but the swampy ground prevented his seasoned cavaliers from true advantage. Our imperial arquebusier breached the river and unleashed hellfire on the opposition. Pizarro and Orgones led their respective cavalries, each merging to a single charging column, all of the men yelling, and met at full gallop. I had never seen such a thing. Somewhere in the chaos of battle, Orgones was shot and unhorsed and killed, they say the coward Almagro retreated from the battlefield atop an ass. Fitting. Excerpt from Alonso Luiz's journal. Careful, careful. Wonder where this will lead. Thirtieth of May. This morning we entered uncharted territory, leaving the sun-bleached bones of dead horse camp behind. It seems the tables have turned on Rally, almost quite literally. His bandaged leg has slowed his pace and made him the tail of our party. When father notices, he slows, turning around to give us both an encouraging smile. His overly eager step betrays his calm demeanor as he rushes past us at the sight of every nearing turn, ridge, or embankment. May Ergu be the one to chart the path from this life to the next, so that we may all travel safely. What do we have here?
got to be the way up. This seems to describe a hidden chamber nearby. Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? Miguel? Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes.
got to be careful here. That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! Sixth of June. Father's outward enthusiasm is at an all-time high, though I have doubts. In the middle of the night, I have caught the whites of his eyes reflecting moonlight, his stare vacantly locked to the stars. Were it not for all the stories he has shared of the Amazon in the past, I would mistake his gaze as regretful, 
even mournful. Perhaps it is simply these insects making their way through our head nets causing him such consternation. First of August. Tonight, sleep escapes us. The jungle is angry and the moon is uncooperative. The human imagination wanders endlessly in the dark this deep. I can hear the jungle's breath ruffling behind my ears, its low growl shaking the very ground we lay on, its manic energy rustling through the trees above. Rest has become the lead on our search, finding us at the most inopportune time. I have caught father dozing off mid-step and his hand barely clutching his walking stick. We have run out of food and are sustained almost entirely by gathered berries and rainwater. The both of us are far too unyielding to give up. I fear the very stubbornness that led us to this point may also be that which leads us to our early graves. Miguel. He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. Oh, hey, what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Ah, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I... Hey. 
I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the water was clean. Got my answer. <laughs> Do you really believe in all that, that stuff that you said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I, when I took the key, I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? Yeah, I would. Like, you can't imagine. But I still understand. It's not revenge. It's such a relief to have Jonah back, especially after Miguel. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. We have to stay sharp if we're going to get ahead of Trinity.
All full up. Can't carry any more. Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. <clears throat> There's a little more. Beware, traps ahead. No one's been through here in years. May Remax be the first voice we hear in the afterlife, and may her stories comfort us. This skull is deformed, flatter and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, but it's more likely the result of hair binding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates written history. It also has evidence of trepanation, a medical procedure in which a hole is carved in the skull. I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. Shit, I'll have to keep climbing.
The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. You can get through here. Give me a hand. You see that? It must be Kwak Yaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. Huh. Oh. Oh! Uh. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. Huh. Oh, gotcha! You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. 
You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Who do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. I hope that the bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. This depicts the Incan god Cone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Cone was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. I bet this water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. This describes something nearby. Two serpents guard life and death. I lie trapped within their eternal struggle. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. This will be useful. What about you? Ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always prefer the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. With the leg on, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah, I feel a lot better already. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. <clears throat> it's too heavy. Give me a hand. <sighs> the water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Bucket's leaking. <clears throat> okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's it. Let's get across. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... 
Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. These are different from the ruins in Mexico. Do your dad's notebooks say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. <laughs> Passageway. That's promising. Remind me how the riddle... These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba. Literally the place of fright. Fukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Makul, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hun Kame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Vukub Kukwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. Chase the heart of the serpent. To the silver crowned mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. How far do you think it is to walk Yaku? Assuming we're going the right way. Um, Hard to say, but the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. People were here at some point. Let's just hope they still are. Whatever weapon these were attached to has rusted away in the jungle's humidity. There's something etched on them. Can barely make it out. P. H. F. Percy Fawcett. But we must be thousands of kilometers from his last known position. I found something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll wait here by the fire. Thank <laughs> you. 
This gear is early 20th century. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. We've set up camp in a canyon. It was a grueling journey to get this far. We'll rest here a few days, get our bearings. Some of the men need patching up, and I wouldn't mind one good night's sleep. The men say something came through the camp last night. The jungle is getting to them. I keep telling them that we're close and we need to keep it together. One of the scouts has found a temple of some kind up ahead. We'll start construction of bridges and ladders this morning and head out from camp this afternoon. Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side, under a giant stone face that seems to mock our efforts. Something attacked the camp. Some men claimed it was panthers. Others said something more sinister. Half the crew insist on abandoning the expedition. I had to dress one man down, made an example of him. All I need is one more day, one more lousy day.
must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. Under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next. find anything? Another of those Maya altars, and... And what? An old camp, gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right.
All full up. Can't carry any more. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one. <laughs> Are you okay? Help me with this. Your back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always tried to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone.
<laughs> Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> When I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> I still have so many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved? Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of Ischel to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. Hmm. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, I lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's... It's not perfect. But everything I love, now, is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your maths homework? The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon. Taunting. This looks like a figure from that game Mum and Dad used to play. But why is it out here, in the playground? There's an A scratched in the bottom for Amelia. I miss you, Mum. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Deadly accurate, for the most part. Our hero could shoot a fly of a cart at 100 paces. Oh, 
brave Sir Knight, victim of the King's curse, doomed to stand vigil, warning away others from the forbidden tomb. I have thought about it many times, and I'm still adamant that Lara be spared from this terrible grief, as you call it. Having her constantly thinking about her mother will only be more painful. It is better for her to be a child and not be burdened by such heavy thoughts. If you do not desist in this campaign of yours, I will not hesitate to terminate your employment at Croft Manor. The White Queen, locked away, but not forgotten. The excavation will soon reveal the secrets of this site. Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. <laughs> Test of skill. Our hero will need a bullseye to weigh down that basket. I think this is from when we watched the El Memsha. I don't remember much, except for how spicy the bazaar smelled. Mum looks so happy. So does Dad. It's not fair. Why did she have to die? Treasure is revealed. The floor gives way! Lara tumbles into the darkness. Amazing! Croft has entered a burial chamber that has not been disturbed in millennia. <laughs> Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Fresh graves. The king does not take kindly to trespassers. The castle gates are well guarded. There's a reason our hero doesn't use the front door. What was it Dad said? Carnations first appeared where the Virgin Mary's tears fell. <laughs> Sir. I understand these last few years have been more than difficult for you. We all miss Amelia terribly. However, I worry Lara has begun to forget what little she knew about her mother. A terrible thing. I realise it is not my place to pry, but have you reconsidered talking to her about Amelia? My belief is that it would help you get over your tremendous grief and bring you two closer. Now for the real treasure in the Forbidden Tomb. Well, Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting yes, the king. I'm aware of that. I think you misunderstand. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. Kingsguard will never expect Croft to climb the castle. The castle tower is taller than she thought. Hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Ugh. Ugh. Our hero spies another entrance. Shoo! Go on! Ugh. The 
young Lara confronts the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. <sighs> She recovers her footing and her goal. Now, onward to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close, she can almost touch it. But an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. Our fearless adventurer has reached the summit. Spots away in below. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things? enters the Forbidden Tomb. Wow! By night the Great Bath stole the Queen at 30 North and 90 East. From her pen she wrote her heart. With light unlock her love's release. I wonder if the White Queen is lonely. The head of King David. From a shepherd to a king. Imagine that. The cup of St John. The apostle had been given a chalice of poisoned wine. But after his blessing, the poison transformed into a snake and he drank the wine unharmed. This is an old game two shields and a white crown. Could that be the White Queen? A Byzantine scroll. Justice is the constant and perpetual wish to render everyone his due. Emperor Justinian. This is Egyptian, an evil eye box. The contents were meant to help sustain and provide for people in the afterlife. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. The Poor Queen, Maria Theresa, died a painful death, to which the King said, this is the first trouble she has given me. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The King and the White Queen, there's something in the shields. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. With 
with light, unlock her love's release. It worked. Ugh. Ugh. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. She'll have to be careful. A Yatiri, a South American healer. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if it lost its mother too. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. Where you stand, these masks seem to stare at you. This looks Mayan. Is it Kukulkan? I wonder who those two dogs are. This is from Colombia, a Xeno chieftain mask. I wonder if these eyes have seen El Dorado. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. This is the kind of armor that the conquistadors wore during the Age of Discovery. I wonder what they found. A statue of an Ariki from the Cook Islands. 25th Dynasty. The interior of the sarcophagus is incredibly intricate. This looks Greek? No, Persian. I wonder what she's guarding. Hmm, a Persian lioness. But someone stole her head. I wonder what she was looking at. The death mask of Agamemnon, found in Mycenae. An African tribal mask, made of gold. Ashanti, perhaps. The great bat swings unfurl. a light beam. There she is! The White Queen. Trapped. I have to help her. Now I can free her! With light, unlock her love's release. Our hero crosses the threshold 
into the unknown. These are mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, I'm not afraid of bats. I'm not afraid of anything. Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. Childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. I wonder what the jungle has in store for us today. Ugh, whatever it is, we'll handle it. Hey, you kept. This camera belongs to the X700 line. Sam had one of those. I was so jealous. It's just the thing you'd want for an expedition to find a lost monument or civilization. 
this is proof that there were people coming here as recently as the 1980s. Even when modernity scoffs at them, some legends still manage to inspire people. The lens is cracked. Almost looks as though it was hit by a projectile of some type. A depiction of a pook, 
god of death and ruler of Mitnell, the ninth and most horrible level of the Maya version of hell. One thing Apuk enjoyed doing was dressing in putrefying flesh and visiting the surface to prey upon the living. According to legend, the only way to save yourself from him was to scream and yell like you were in unbearable agony. He'd assume you were already being tortured by one of his minions and leave you alone. How appropriate that his harbinger demon was a screech owl named Muon. Those charged with crimes are brought here, and they battle under the watchful gaze of the gods, the only infallible judges. Those proven innocent may leave, but the guilty are killed and thrown to Shabalba. Amazing. Is this a pocketop court? And in the moment the gods were satisfied Metnal did not kill his wife, a pelican landed at the accused's feet. This stunned those in attendance. This was a seabird, hardly ever seen this far inland. The representatives of the gods decided to see what the bird meant to do. It circled Metnal, flapping its wings and squawking softly, and then it opened its mouth and a half-eaten fish landed at Metnal's feet. This was understood by all as a sign of Metnal's guilt and he was quickly executed.
Over a month has passed since our expedition departed from Cuiaba. We have consumed our provisions methodically thus far, and continue to be in high spirits. Father's age shows when we're on foot. A few times now I have caught Rally looking over his shoulder and back at us to make sure we're still keeping up. Father always returns a look with a smile and saying he'll soon be the one in the lead. a bit of progress. This ladder isn't as rotten as it looks. Full up. Can't carry any more.
My dear Nina, once again the attempt to write is fraught with difficulty. However, those flies and bees and bugs galore that I wrote her before, all of those pinhead-sized stinging horrors, would have been a welcome attrition now that I have faced down tooth and claw. I fought bravely, but the confrontation did not go in my favor. I will spare you the details out of compassion and not egotism. My wounds have been packed with yarrow and a stable, but I can feel infection in the blood. If you are reading this, then you know I have not survived this place. I instructed Jack not to go on. We lost young Rimmel a few weeks ago. This place, Nina, is not meant for the likes of men, and I will not rob you of a son as I have a husband. I'm tired now. Jack is sleeping by the fire, and I am certain that when he awakes, I will have slipped into my own slumber. I love you, Nina. Good night, Percy. Eighteenth of July. I awoke this morning at the sight of my father wringing his handkerchief tightly between his two hands. Wide-eyed and unblinking, he stared in Raleigh's direction. Raleigh had passed. Infection had set into his wounds days ago and shortly after, fever took hold. Between fits of cold sweats, laboured groans of pain and demented ramblings, Raleigh had somehow been able to insist on forging ahead. Father had tried to reason with him telling him to turn back, to let us carry the torch. But Raleigh made it clear. Turning our backs on him would have been leaving him there to die. We forged ahead. We were as far away from civilization as we had ever been, and we foolishly continued to trudge forward. So long, old friend. What do you think we'll find in Kuak Yaku? Running water would be nice. I think at this point, I'd settle for no jaguars. <sighs> All full up. Can't carry any more.
There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Truck's stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about it? Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who broke onto a body bridge. Oh, hold up. I got him. Hold on, you're friendly. Keep your eyes Someone open. Someone should check back there. I'll do it. Put her right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. <laughs> yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves, anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. <laughs> me. Why not? I'll be a hero. I'll be dead more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. It's quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller room we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wedged in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. It's not the one something to brace against. Well, why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Dave, Sammy. You guys, I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Dave! Dave! Taking casualties! No, you don't! Fuck you! Stop! Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. I hope that's the last of them. Yeah. How do they know to come here? I don't know. Not exactly the civilization I was hoping to run into. That means it's leaving. I might have liked it better when it was injured. Oh, I know. I'm just trying not to think about my back. You know, my grandmother survived a tsunami in the 60s. What happened? She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things.
Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that riddle are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Oh, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. Oh. So, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following a riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Oh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya? You know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. A long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. <laughs> Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah. Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. You too. Hmm. Are you and Lara... Friends. Colleagues. She's brilliant. So, you're not... Oh. Nothing like that. No, I'm, uh, pretty single. Interesting. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, oh, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway? Miss Ortiz, your dedication and commitment to the village of Kwakyaku is commendable. However, 
Paul Veneer does not accept your charges of responsibility for the terrible state of the village. In fact, the board of executives has decided, and your local government representative agrees, if you continue this crusade of slandering our good name, we will have no choice but to take legal action. From the office of Roberto Lavia, Chief Executive Officer, Paul Veneer. Thank God. The storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane. But it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Two years I've been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do, and now, who is that guy anyway? Hey, you want to know your way around Kuakiaku? Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go and who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo, but his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Nomar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, the engine shit the bed. So where are the orbs? Back at the house. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there. But the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. Bet you've never seen anything like this, huh? This is my last one. Sold the rest to that commander fella. He was a little intense. But hey, he bought all my stock, didn't he? Well, except this one. Runs smooth, never breaks down. It's a real beaut, isn't it? Uh, well... No, I'm serious. My wife here, she hasn't been the same since the accident. But the gentle hum, it helps her relax. I'm glad. There used to be a temple on the island over there, but all that's left is a couple crumbled walls. And one stone pillar, it looks like. That's more a statue than a pillar. Real intricate work. A college professor came out to study it a few years ago. Did he tell you what he learned? He said it didn't make any sense. Was pretty angry about it, too. Said we tried to trick him or something. This cast iron conical mold was mainly used throughout the 60s and 70s to shape small gold ingots. Its unique shape causes the gold to settle at the bottom, separating it from impurities. This describes something nearby. Take a deep breath and find me right under another's nose. There's no mistaking that bright golden disc. Inti, the most important god of the Inca. He was the god of the sun, protector of the people, and the provider of warmth and light. Some legends also credit him with teaching humans the ways of civilization. And the Incan emperors were either considered his lineal descendants or physical incarnations of Inti on Earth, depending on which emperor you asked.
All full up. Can't carry any more. This is a little bit unusual. It shows herds of sheep, llamas, and goats. But one farmer wouldn't usually tend three distinct herds like this. That one llama, alone on the hill. That must be Urquichile, the Incan god who watches over animals. Urquichile was often depicted as a llama. This is a dedication from all the local herders to the one who protects their flocks, thanking Urquichile for the preservation of their livelihood. Impossible. I can't carry any more. This is a promotional model of an oil derrick made out of cheap plastic and copper. There is a logo for a company called Poor Veneer on the base of it.
Impossible. I can't carry any more. Possible. I can't carry any more. Possible. I can't carry any more. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. space for that. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. Dragon, this must be depicting Pachamama, the Incan goddess of motherhood, earth, and time. She presided over fertility, the harvest, and planting. Her body was the mountains, and she was also the cause of earthquakes. People used to make miniature pieces of clothing, with highly intricate designs solely for the purpose of burning them in dedication to her. That would account for the scorch marks on the floor. And those brown stains must be llama blood. Another popular sacrifice.
Trinity's really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. I can hear them calling from under the earth. The voices. The old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. I haven't noticed that. Where is this breath? You'll see. You'll hear it. Perhaps you can ease their suffering. the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit, which impregnated the goddess Kaviaka when she ate it. <laughs> his pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kaviaka was a virgin. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kafirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. <laughs> Let me guess, Omar sent you to shake me down? Well, I'm not giving that bastard anything. What are you talking about? What am I? I'm sorry. I, I saw that knife and gone and figured, eh, never mind. You looking for anything in particular or just browsing? What do you have? What do I have? This is Kuwaki Yaku, one of the greatest archaeological sites in South America. Well, it could be. It should be. If it weren't for pillagers? Exactly. 
Omar and his thugs are after money, not history. I have items of cultural significance for sale. They may be damaged, but they're worth restoring. Let me show you what I have. Enjoy. Excellent choice. Impossible. I have a family to feed. That deal would ruin me. Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Come back soon. To be honest... I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. To be honest, I'm kind of tired of her looking at <laughs> Hey, new here? You should talk to Abigail. She insists on meeting all the newcomers. You mean Abby? We've met. She's been very helpful. Ah, that's our Abigail. Always ready to fix a generator or stop an argument. She's our de facto mayor, unofficial general store owner, half of the volunteer fire department. And trust me, you don't want to get into a fist fight with her. I wonder how she gets all that on her business card. Uh... Okay, well, um, good luck with everything. All full up. Can't carry any more. Lo siento. This is the story of local caverns rumored to be haunted. Ghostly noises coming from deep within the bowels of the earth. No one who's entered the caves has ever returned. Mysterious sounds. Something between the booming of thunder and the howling of dogs. And a mysterious light glowing within.
Just arrived, have you? Lucky. You missed a hell of a storm. I, uh, I had a brush with it myself. The wind played hell with the surrounding jungle. Knocked down trees, took out the power. A couple houses collapsed. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. Unless you control the weather. <laughs> Don't get many tourists through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a Versace. Oh, oh, well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming, vibrant, full of life, and so optimistic for the future. <sighs> optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kawakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD, these parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river. The pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Mm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it, so they all came to protect it too. ¿Tuviste noticias de tu hija últimamente? This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the condor, but we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things. Thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets, but the eagle took that away as well. Traditionally woven from fabric and stuffed with weeds and grains, the burial dolls are frequently shown holding something in their hand, like a musical instrument or a ball of yarn. In this instance, the doll is holding a toddler, perhaps signifying that the deceased was a mother. But this one is made from modern materials. 
I suppose Paul Veneer could have made it as a promotional toy. Go on, it's easy. Just grab it and stuff the cherry bomb up its... <clears throat> Someone has barricaded the path. May waiter's desire for power be sated by the time we follow him to the afterlife. Looks like the bridge is out. Oh, shit! This room has fared better than the rest of the cavern, it seems.
otra tormenta como la última y el río se llevará toda la aldea. Quizás sea lo mejor. Solo estás disgustado por todo el trabajo extra que tenemos que hacer. No se equivoca. Prefería estar jugando con ellos. La última vez quedaste adolorido. Ay, no les hago. Omar. Ajá. Uh -huh. They've been working all night. And isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's on. Shit. No. Now fuck off. Let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of... Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> what little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Holy Lord, thank you for grace. Please help us move beyond the hurdle yes. and give us the wisdom to look up and see the hope we will toward in Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. La gente cree que puede entrar y salir a su antojo. I'm sorry, do I know you? Sorry, I didn't realize this was a private residence. <laughs> Gosh, we lost a lot, but I didn't realize it was that bad. I really didn't mean to. I know you didn't. But if you'll excuse us, we have a lot of work to do. I'm with you. That storm was The jungle takes what it wants. Hard to get it to give up its secrets. But I found one, I think. You have. The village has many layers. You peel one back and find another, and another. It does seem to have quite the history. Sometimes I wonder if it hasn't been here in one way or another since the beginning of time. You seem different than the others. Which others? All of them. Men looking for oil, gold, taking whatever they can. Continue to restrict the distribution of supplies. When we come through the area, it's better for everyone if your people are more concerned with their next meal or their child's fever, rather than with what's happening outside the village. As promised, once our investigation in the area is complete, we will provide monthly rations equal to double what you currently receive from care for 24 months, provided you keep up your end of the bargain. Cordially, Estela Diaz. Director of Community Outreach Programs, Order of Trinity. Murieron por tu culpa. Se suponía que debía estar con tu culpa. ¿Cómo te fue hoy? Estuviste tomando muestras de suelo en el noreste, ¿verdad? Sí. El nivel de mercurio fue un poco menor que la vez pasada. Es una buena noticia. Always nice to see fresh faces in town. Good for the mind to know that our little corner of the world isn't forgotten. Also good for the wallet, 
If you'd maybe take a look at what we have for sale up at the general store. Looks like this is Abby's family tree. Her family has lived in this village for hundreds of years, and it seems as though she's somehow related to most of the villagers. I've been doing some research, and I think we might be able to set ourselves up with a homemade refinery. It's going to be a lot of work, though, and I can't do it alone. We'll need to build an oil tank, 1,000 liter capacity. The hull of the ship sunk in the river could be used for the tank. Any volunteers for a salvage mission? We'll need to set up a system to collect the crude. Who wants to be in charge of the bucket brigade? Once we get these things set up, we should be able to make diesel, kerosene, and petrol. Enough to fly the planes and eventually maybe even turn a profit. I don't know how they can gossip so cheerfully when we've lost so much. I'm sorry. Wait, you're not Mariela. No, I'm just, uh, so sorry to bother you. Are you interested in trading? How do you do? See anything that you like? Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. 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 A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Come back soon.
The walls are porous. The oil must be seeping through. When the caverns begin to howl, a warrior must descend to ease the torment. If one cannot be sacrificed, then all will die. Elders of the village have lied to us. There is no beast underground. The howling we hear is only the wind rushing out through small caves leading to the surface. They've used fear to control us for too long. Once I make my way out of this infernal sweat bath, I will throw their lies at their feet. Botan is an ancient Maya god of war and death. So old, he is rumored to have been old even before the beginning of time itself. He is usually depicted as having no teeth and being colored entirely black. Little is known about him, except that he likes to smoke pungent cigars. Interestingly, he is also the god who invented drumming.
there's my way across. I'll have to time this right. to get that other pendulum moving. Time to get out of here.
Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah, Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Bien, entonces. Piss off, you spoil it. Omar? Who are you? Looking for work? Um. Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now, anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Salazar para Morena. Morena de nuevo a Salazar. Salazar hace un pase. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. I know it sounds silly. Come on. Find someone to replace you. What? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything could happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? I blew up my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. I know it sounds silly. Again. Did you hear? They're forcing our kids to work now. Poor Pablo. I should do it. We should do something. Guys, this mark is so hard. He's back. This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. What is that? Uh, oh my god. Please, help me. Are you okay? You're coming after me? Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. Doesn't sound good. Come on, break. Get back to work. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't know what else you want. I can't do it if you can't stay here. Oh, I think there's a way you can motivate that. 
shit. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. You ask me, it's that brother of his. Always unionization this and justice that. Wow, wow, wow. Fucking snowflake. The mines here even worth it. They are on the black market. True. Almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for them. The generator's broken again. Fix it. Fuck you! Fucking thing. Gather your things, I go back to the village. Bless you. Thank you. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases. Bien, entonces, oiga, cuidado. Sí, claro, yo. Ah. 
I know it sounds stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Pablo told me what you did. I, I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. I know it sounds like it. To be honest, I'm kind of tired of going to this espacio. Do you have anything you want to trade? Hi there. See anything that you like? Enjoy. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Come back soon.
Hey, looks a lot bigger on the outside. What'd you do? <laughs> Try to look. Ye shall and Shack shall. The twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> The twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. <sighs> Sounds good. On the temple. Great. Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. Glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on.
When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Laura, you okay? Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I... What happened here? I said don't break anything. Hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. The younger Croft is more active and less cerebral than her father was. Although intelligent, she is less focused on the meaning and history of the artifacts she seeks and more prone to risk-taking. With no children or family of her own, she is free to pursue her targets, almost to the point of obsession. Although this can make her appear impulsive or unpredictable at times, we believe her drive and the balance of her personality will make her easier to influence, with the promise of greater challenge and more likely to deliver results. <sighs> Any information she might have that Richard Croft withheld from Trinity would simply be a bonus. We recommend her as a strong target for recruiting. sealing everything up because Commander Rourke said to hold the perimeter. No one goes in or out. I know that, smartass. But you know why? That's above my pay grade. When the recon team gets... After action report. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Search site. Mazaruni River, Guyana. 5.816587-59.0. Discovered evidence of Maya migration. Upon subsequent investigation, site deemed a dead end. Actions taken. Site flooded by redirecting river. Locals recruited for labor eliminated. All trace of presence scrubbed. Other. Kick up at nearby village. Lethal response necessary. Area isolated. Site flooded. Appears natural. South American rivers rising due to climate change story seeded in media. Here, maybe they'll be able to tell us something. Borvenir, this is Commander Rourke. Have you achieved lockdown? We're almost there. All access points are covered, and most of the barricades are finished. Almost isn't good enough. Secure the perimeter now, and make damn sure it's locked tight. Aye, sir. Uh, if I could ask, sir, uh, what's going on? Recon team is en route. Work out. How many guys went down there? This fucking place. Shouldn't we send someone down to look for them? Rourke was explicit. No search and rescue until the recon team gets here. But it's almost been an hour since last contact. The commander doesn't abandon his people. 
he says wait topside, he's got a damn good reason. Shit, I'm tired of covering for these assholes. What the? It's you! Okay, perimeter's locked down. All we have to do is wait for the recon team. Doesn't it seem a little weird to you? There was a problem underground, but we're fortifying ourselves from a threat from overland. Seems pretty standard. If something did go wrong, we should assume it could be anything. We've got the temple covered, too. I don't know, man. It still feels like we went from an amber alert in the known area to a red alert all over the place. We've been overreacting to things ever since that storm hit. What do you think happened down there? We're securing the site. Obviously somebody thinks they got attacked. By what? There's nothing down there. You sure? We were searching for something. Maybe they found it, and it wasn't what we thought. The recon team will figure this out. <laughs> Jonah, Commander Walk is here in Peru. He ordered Trinity to lock down a dig site below an old oil well. You going to check it out? Yeah, I'll see what they found. Rourk was there in Cozumel when Dominguez took the dagger. They must have figured out the next step to the hidden city. been a bloodbath here. What happened? Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Possible entry point located for temple outside of Kwakyaku. Excavation equipment en route. From death to life, new moon to full, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. <laughs> Jonah, I made it inside the temple. I think we found something here too. Some numbers. I'm gonna clear it off. The numbers on the pillars look like the first half of dates. Isha on the left, Shaksha on the right.
another door. There must be more to this. Damn, I should have known. Shell. I think I've seen the date on the left somewhere. The f okay, Jonah. What's the final number for Shack Shell? A line across with two dots on top of it. Seven, I think. Thanks. is the Maya word for Jaguar. The Maya idolized Jaguars for their majestic beauty and dangerous grace. Villagers would have four Akantunes, idols which they placed at each corner of the village. At night, five Balaams, spirit Jaguar guardians, would come to the village. One Balaam would station itself at each corner, next to an Akantun, while the fifth and smallest Balaam would coordinate their protection efforts against evil demons and spirits. Suicide was not considered forbidden by the Maya. In fact, it was considered an honorable alternative to living. Because of this, by committing suicide, you could bypass the underworld and go straight to paradise, where other noble deaths included the sacrificed, those who died in battle or childbirth, and those who died playing ball. The suicide's escort on the journey to paradise would be this goddess, Ishtab, also called Rope Woman. She was the goddess of suicides, especially those who hanged themselves and manifested as a rotting corpse hanging from a noose. Jonah. Hey, Lara. It's Abby. Oh, hey, Abby. I found a mural. It seems to depict some kind of journey. Entering through a jaguar mouth follows a serpent toward a silver eye. Uh-huh. On the way, there's a spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple. Okay, I don't know about most of that, but the jaguar mouth is back this way. Really? Yeah. Cat sculpture, big teeth. Oh, here. He's back. Laura, you okay? Yeah, I'm heading back. Good. This is the path to the hidden city. It seems to describe a series of trials entering through a jaguar mouth. A spider and an eagle that rises toward a temple, leading to a serpent with a silver eye. I think you're gonna like this. This describes something nearby. Two guardians have fangs. Two guardians have feet. One guardian has both to better protect me. This will be useful.
This shows a basic sketch for a temple, rising from the middle of a city. If I squint, it sort of looks like a snake.
This was written by an explorer in the mid-20th century who was looking for a lost city. He discovered a small trading post near the base camp, run by a woman named Kwama. He asked her if she knew any old stories which might help them find the lost city. By the time he wrote this, the explorer was near death and convinced she'd misled their expedition deliberately. Base camp, this is Omicron team. We've been ambushed. Base camp, come in. Anything? Quiet. I need to hear. I still can't. Holy Christ. They're here. What are they so afraid of? I lost my radio in the crash. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Camp set up near abandoned oil factory outside of village. Survey of area ongoing. Contact made with villagers. None with any information on Lone Wolf. Small group splintered off from main camp. Stole two weeks worth of supplies. Suggest eradication of former assets once operation complete. No sign of Croft yet. Reports of a plane crash 10 clicks outside of village. Maybe we got lucky. NB. Villager suggested making sure Avi Ortiz does not become too interested in our activities. Name sent to headquarters. Dossier incoming shortly. Currently researching avenues and contingency plans. Tell us what happened. All I saw. We just need to wait it out until the reinforcements arrive. I know they're out there. There's gotta be some rational explanation for what they saw. What are we even looking for? <laughs>
You men form a perimeter. Yucks! Ah! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? On your left! What are those creatures? There has to be a way out of here. Maybe in the direction they came from. Bodies everywhere. The creatures killed them. But why? Jonah, Abby. Hey, Laura? I saw something. Trinity is being hunted by some kind of creature. What? It made hissing sounds and moved so fast. Laura, that sounds like the legend of the Pistaco. You pulling our legs? No. I know what I saw. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on my way back. Search team report and findings. Central and South American Division. Attention, Dr. Dominguez. Mexico. Cozumel, Temple of Shakshal discovered. Site closed and scrubbed. Brazil. Atishi Matari region. Dead end. Site closed and scrubbed. Team moved to Trinchiera Bacaja site. Mandaruku region. Search inconclusive. Trouble with government. Suggest closing site. Awaiting orders. Trinchiera Bacaja region. Progress made with local tribes. Investigation ongoing. Peru. Coaquiacu. Temple discovered. Research ongoing.
I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Hi there. See anything that you like? Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. A good deal for both of us. Excellent choice. Enjoy. Excellent choice. A good deal for both of us. Come back soon. Jonah? We're downstairs. From life to death, full moon to new, this temple serves as guardian to the silver box. Have you been down there? We were waiting for you. What do you think we'll find? The mural showed a series of trials. <laughs> I may know another way around. Okay, I'll go ahead and meet you on the other side.
Jonah, I've come out in some sort of cavern. There are signs that people have been here. Jonah? Jonah, if you can hear me, I think I'm still on the path at the spider trial. I'm gonna get to the top. Incredible. Jonah, I'm at the next trial. The Eagle. It has something to do with the wind. I'm still tracking west. Heading downward now. There's an underground river. <laughs> What's at the end of these trials? The hidden city, but... What else? I hope Jonah's all right. The world around them began to crumble. The people decided to move. The artifact entrusted to them urged them to travel south, lest it be seized by their enemies. after centuries of earthquakes and storms. <laughs> Might be a ladder if it was the right way up. Hmph! <laughs> 
promising. Close. Do not hide good food from guests because it will turn into worms. might work. Yes, that'll hold. Jonah, I'm past the Eagle Trial. I must be closing in on the Hidden City.
Haititi flourishes under the watchful gaze of Yaskar Yahweh and his council. The city grows, temples are built, the people are peaceful, prosperous, and content. Here is amazing. The hidden city must be near. Laura, I made it through. I'm entering a cavern. Jonah? Damn. to be more careful. Oh, shit! Can't stay here. Whoa! It's giving way! That was close. Right. I may have found it. 
the hidden city. I'm gonna look for the serpent with a silver eye. to put the last remaining mule down yesterday. Broke its leg. Shame. Terrible shame. But I think I found it. Came across an abandoned village that simply must be Z. If only father were still alive. I'm resting here for the night. Tomorrow I'll begin a thorough investigation of the site. The world will know a force that discovered the lost city. I can hear you.
Okay, water looks deep enough. May Chuki have woven us each a tunic of the finest wool by the time we reach the afterlife. This might be a crypt where the nobles were interred. Is this some sort of eulogy for the people laid to rest here? These are the king and queen of Miklan, the principal underworld of Aztec mythology. Mekantikutli was the most prominent of the gods associated with death. He was often depicted as a skeleton with eyeballs in his skull sockets, and his responsibilities included looking after the souls of the departed. His wife, Miklansiwat, presided over festivals of the dead, which are precursors to the modern Dia de los Muertos traditions. been here recently. Here's what I've been looking for.
there. Hello? I can help you. Get back! You don't belong here! Listen, I know it hurts, but... How good to you! Are you? What's your purpose here? I'm a Versace, Lara Croft. They'll be back. We must find safety. Bring her. You're not only my son, you're my heir. You must not court unnecessary danger. Had you not been there, would this woman have found us? I'm glad you're safe. If you're not with the cult, how did you find this place? I followed a map from a temple. I was expecting ruins, not you or any of this. The cult. Why did they attack your son? I recognize their insignia. I know them as Trinity. I'm trying to stop them. Stop them from doing what? They're looking for an artifact. Uh, some sort of box connected to a moon goddess. Why do you want it? To steal it? Sell it? No. I just can't let Trinity, the cult, get to it first. They're too dangerous. Why? What have they done to you? They killed my father. Can I show you something? Do you know what this is? This is by Titi. You're already here. By Titi, the hidden city. But what's this eye? That is a place of death and sacrifice. And you think your artifact is there? Yes. No, none who has gone has ever returned. I'd be willing to try. You will risk it simply to stop the cult? Yes. Bring him in. Are you okay? Do you know this man? He's my best friend. Abby. She's fine. Who else is looking for you? There's no one else. I believe we're seeking the same thing. We will bring you to the serpent with the silver eye, but we'll keep your friend here. You won't get very far if you're lying, and he will not be comfortable. You don't need to do that. It's, it's fine. I'll stay. Itzli, get this woman some clothes. Would you? 
keep him company. I'll be back as soon as I can. All right. Pretty nice place. Quiet. Rebel leader, I have to be careful. I am the rightful queen, Unuratu. Etsli, you still own your scouting report? Yes, ma'am. There was one thing this morning. Yes? Look around if you wish. I will be in the market across the river when you're ready to find the box of fish. As you can see, secrets don't stay secret for very long in Paititi. If you were to deviate from the plan, you'd find out quickly. I see that. She's here to help me find something I lost. You don't have to worry about that. Was father a scout when he was my age? He was a hunter. This is a traditional foot plow, still used in the Andes today, even outside Paititi. Sometimes the simple ways are still the best. But he was also very kind. Who are you? What I saw. He has them. Enough, Taki. You lost your dice. Fine. But don't lie about the it. The cult is increasing its guard. Why? Because of the storms. What can a guard do for a storm? I'll explain later. Beautiful. Greetings. Hello. The market has everything. Edsley, I'm sure she has seen many markets before. Outside? Yes. But ours is the best. We're not far now. Cultist, waiting for their deity to appear. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But this cult leader will take my place and attempt to become the god. He believes we can remake the world and live in a paradise of his design. Remake the world? What? I've heard those words before. There he is! I know him. That's Dr. Mingus. Behold! 
the instrument of our unity and salvation. Soon, our dreams of peace and safety will be realized. They already call him Kukulkan, but his real name is Amaru. He was born here, but raised, lied to by outsiders. The people believe in him. But you don't. My late husband, Saidi, was his brother. They had differences over the future of Paititi. When Saidi died, Amaru devoted himself to the cult. You have seen the storm. You are worried about worse to come. I ensure you that Paititi will persevere and thrive forever! I know him well. If Amaru is successful, all of us who disagree will never see this paradise. The rebels will be discarded. Not if they don't find the box. Yes. Our best hope is to find it first. Perhaps Amaru might still be brought to see love and reason. Death to the outsiders! Retribution will come! Hakan! Enough! We must strike while the snake is within reach. Justice will be met in good time. Do not jeopardize our rebellion for the sake of impulse. Meet you at the edge of the mountain. Last warning. Okay. Follow Esley. Your clothing won't hide you long from these guards. Okay, I'll find the box. You've been warned to keep the peace. I was just out for a pleasant stroll with my son. <laughs> Amaru is losing his patience. It won't happen again. Jonah, can you answer? Yeah, me and Uchu set up camp. Everything's okay. Dominguez is here. He's the leader of the cult of Kukul Khan. That's what Unaratu's rebels are fighting. What? He's been here for years. Trinity controls Paititi. Whoa. I'm going to the Eye of the Serpent. We have to get the box before the next cataclysm hits. My wife is very ill, as are many others. A sickness brought by the outsiders. Someone should do something. Hello, Ishiki. Beautiful animals, aren't they? Llamas, so gentle. Even the wild guanaco in the wilderness, they love to be petted. The gods approve. Do kids don't authority where you come from, Ishiki? I think it's part of growing up, pushing boundaries. Are they in danger? No. The guards threatened, but when they were young, they threw rocks at guards too. All full up. Can't carry any more. Have you come here to escape the bustle of the city? I swear, it gets louder and more crowded every day. The people are changing as well. They desire more and more, be it food or clothing or jewelry. 
Their eyes dart inside the homes of their neighbors, longing for the items they see. No one seems to be able to find contentment with what they have. It's too much. Sometimes I dream of sneaking away, just getting into one of these boats and paddling up the river. I would do that, but this place is all I've ever known. It would be a huge decision. I think I'll need to keep thinking about it. Thank you for listening. I feel as though a cloud has parted. Unaratu approached the throne through the crowd. She walked beside it, but did not sit. Why do we continue to believe this lie? She asked the crowd. Kukul Khan controls this city, and I will no longer wear a smile and pretend it is any different. I will not be his puppet, trotted out to wave and smile. The guards cut her off quickly and ushered her away. Then they advanced, with weapons drawn to disperse the crowds. I don't think anything could have prepared me for this place. The people, their history, everything they've lived and who they are today. To hear him tell it, Amaru, Dominguez, Kukul Khan, only wants to keep Paititi safe. But I've seen the lengths he'll go to, the murder and cruelty. I have to stop him. After the long dry season, when the rains finally fell, the rats left their burrows looking for more food. They brought with them pests. Those afflicted bleed from their ears and nose and died in terrible pain and terrible numbers, leaving many once populous cities empty.
This depicts the story of Viracocha, the father of all creation. He formed the heavens, the earth, the sun and stars, the moon, time itself, and all living beings, including the other gods. At first, Viracocha was considered to be the supreme god of the Inca, but with time that honor passed to his son, Inti, the god of the sun. Still, Viracocha retained his link to the sea. His name literally means fat or foam of the sea. heavy-breasted woman wearing serpents around her waist. This is Kuatliku, whose name literally means skirt of snakes. She's also called Tetioinen, the mother of the gods. She gave birth to the moon and the stars and had over 400 children, including the sun god Witzliapokli, who was also god of war. In addition to being a mother, she's seen as the devourer of all that lives. It's said that she was herself sacrificed to bring about this current age of creation. Me and Nedsley used to play together all the time, but I haven't seen him around a lot lately. I understand why, I think. He has important things to do, important for all of us here. But I miss him. No one could throw a stone farther across the river. Mm, impossible. I can't carry any more. Thank you. 
The legend is that the Ring of Seven stand guard over riches, but I've looked all over the place and I still haven't been able to find them. It doesn't make any sense. Why go to the trouble of making up a riddle and then not having it pay off? <laughs> As it was foretold, heralded by the column of flame burning through the night, and the destruction of our temples, and the warnings of the weeping woman and the two-headed man, the strange warriors astride great deer arrived with the rising sun. They murdered the weak leaders and claimed the land and the people as their own. All full up. Can't carry any more. I'm sorry, no one may enter. This elaborate pipe is sculpted to resemble Shaquatl, an Aztec serpent spirit painted in green, blue, and yellow. Its sides are decorated with semi-precious stones. The inclusion of jade indicates at least a measure of Maya influence. The bowl still reeks of burnt roots and smoke. Not an entirely unpleasant aroma. I don't recognize you. What are you doing here? Where did you get that tunic? It was given to me by Unuratu. Oh, you are the Queen's guest? I meant no offense. Please, you must forgive me. It's all right. Don't worry. How may I help you? Very good. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Very good. The gods favor us both. Here you go. Very good. 
The gods favor us both. Very good. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. The gods favor us both. Here you go. Very good. The gods favor us both. Very good. Come back soon. Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us Not enough, friend. Return- I'm always ready to trade. You're here during a busy time, friend. The tanners, the butchers, the weavers, the dyers, even the teachers. All the districts are preparing. The market will be busy. Great things are on the horizon for the city and its people. We all must do what we can to help Kukulkan usher in a new world. The people of the Andes have been perfecting the art of weaving for thousands of years. This chuspas is a wonderful example, woven of llama or alpaca hair and traditionally used to carry cocoa leaves. It clearly highlights the weaver's skill. Beautiful.
Chen Makachi, bello bitch. This jade mask would have been placed on a noble's corpse during his funeral. The artisans were reputedly able to create an almost exact likeness of the wearer. It can't be an alush. It has to be those children. Is something wrong? Huh? Oh, uh, yes, yes. Something is terribly wrong. Every morning, I wake up and everything in my house has been moved. You said something about an alush. Oh, no, you too? Alush aren't real. It's the children. Uh, they enjoy tormenting me. You could block the entry, then they couldn't get in. I tried that. They still found a way in. Uh, maybe I should just move. <laughs> <sighs> it's difficult to make out. People settled between two rivers. They weren't alone. However, these outsiders don't appear dangerous. Amaru returned for his brother's funeral, inconsolable during the burial and immovable after. The next day, however, he cut swiftly through the city. He unmasked the cult's leader, exposing them as outsiders. It is time for the people of Paititi to take control of their city, he said, holding a decapitated head in one hand and the bloody knife in the other. No longer will we bow to outsiders. Do you know what's missing in this city? Love. It used to drift on the air, like the scent of hibiscus. That scent went away when Unuratu's husband, Sairi, died. Theirs was an infectious love. Everywhere they went, they were locked in hand. They would shop the markets together on sunny days like today, and I could swear the stalls would brighten just a bit as they passed. I had never seen two people more in love. I hope that once all of this fighting is over, that the scent of hibiscus will return.
Ti trunca tu bisa. Shit, Bishabel. Pila witching, Tintet Janchaki. This describes something nearby. Canals bring water to the arid parts of the village, and they washed me away. Come to Lara. Holy is said to be one of the oldest games in America, played by all walks of life. Players were known to gamble all of their worldly possessions over a single round, from blankets and precious stones to their homes and even their family's freedom. The god of art and games, Mackerel Shoktal, is considered an active participant in the game, responsible with bestowing offerings upon the winner. So much on the line for a simple game. Some things never do change.
Itzamna is the son of the Maya creator god, Hunabku. He was the god of education, responsible for inventing writing and books. This made him an essential figure in the development of Maya culture. He was also god of agriculture and created farming. He even presided over doctors, healing people with the help of his red-hot hand. Usually, Itzamna took on a reptilian aspect, but he was also known as Kinichahau, a fire McCall, who was the patron of the number four and controlled drought and disease. The Paititians made peace with each other and followed Yaska Yahweh, recently acclaimed as emperor, to a site in the mountains to begin anew, certain they will not make the same mistakes as those before them. An Aztec influence mask, decorated with items native to the area around Paititi. Maya and Inca stood shoulder to shoulder against their brothers on one side, those who wished to retreat and start fresh, and those who wished to expand and conquer neighboring territories. Ill-suited to the local land, the Maya's agriculture techniques of slash and burn soon led to a food shortage. At the risk of starvation, they entered into treaties with local pre-Inca tribes, gaining new technologies and crops. The traders arrived, bringing new goods, and then the farmers, with new crops and techniques. Eventually, as more and more of the outsiders arrived in Paititi, they eventually took administrative control. This staff has a jury-rigged flintlock mechanism similar to those from European firearms. The cultist priests must have used this during their ceremonies to all the crowds. <laughs> The protectors failed and are now doomed to recover what they lost. Ishiki, would you like to hear a story? One that my mother used to tell. I would love to. You've noticed the pools throughout the city, haven't you? Do you know why they exist? 
No, why? We once had a queen, a very vain woman. She ordered these wells dug so that as she walked through the city, she could always see her reflection. One day, she knelt beside one of the pools, and a fish surfaced. She became very angry. The ripples in the water ruined her reflection. This queen tried to capture the fish, but she slipped and fell in and disappeared. Disappeared? Many tunnels between the whales were discovered during the search, but she was never found. Some say the queen is still down there, trying to catch that fish. Thank you. That was quite the story. Villager claims to have seen a strange creature in the streets. They followed it to a walled-in alley where it disappeared. Citizen describes similar experience in Upper City. Woke to discover something trying to climb in a second-story window. When she yelled, it dropped the street and disappeared. We'll continue to monitor. Each Taka of the cult of Kukulkan vows to tie his coat to that of Yutu, descendant of the Maya. Lacking any family of his own, each Taka will live with the parents of Yutu until such time that they have built their own home and hearth. Yutu vows to tie her coat to that of each Taka. She will bear him many children, which they will raise according to the traditions of both their peoples. We leave the city at first light, which is just as well, for a terrible disease has spread across it. Dead and dying line the paths and choke the streams. Many are saying it is punishment from the gods. Journal of Adelantado Perez. <laughs> Twenty fourth of November, sixteen o three. I accompanied Andreas Lopez, a group of twelve soldiers and two molosses through the jungle. The directions the Jesuits provided to Trinity were excellent, so we discovered the hidden city with little difficulty. The natives of the city welcomed us warily, but we plied them with gifts, and they reluctantly allowed us to enter the city, unaware of our true intentions. Lopez has begun to search for the artifact while we distract the city's leaders.
That must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. Bats and Hoon Chowen were twin brothers, older half-siblings of the more celebrated Maya hero twins. Jealous of their brothers, the monkey twins would always cheat during football matches and ruin them with their aggressive tactics. In retaliation, the hero twins lured them up a tree, a tree which never stopped growing, preventing Hoon Bats and Hoon Chowen from getting down. The hero twins convinced them that they could use their belts to climb down, but this turned out to be another trick and the belts became tails, turning the elder twins into monkeys. Turn mirror one to the left. Follow the beam of light to mirror two. Direct mirror two across the chamber diagonally. Return to mirror one. These seem to be instructions of some kind, but I can't make out the rest. I must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. The worthy may call upon Kinichahal. Use his light to chase the shadows from your hearts and the city itself. honoring the sun. <laughs> I won't last long if I fall in the water. which carries Maya souls through the underworld and into the sky, is directed by two gods. Old Stingray Paddler sits in the back of the canoe and handles the duties during the day, while old Jaguar Paddler sits in the front and takes care of the night shift. 
These two gods symbolize not only light and darkness, day and night, but also the interdependence of all equal and opposite forces. Shark was a very important god to the Maya. He taught them farming secrets and oversaw growing and the harvest. Generally, he was associated with all forms of fertility. He was also in charge of wind, lightning, and rain, which was caused by his tears. He was in charge of preserving springs, wells, streams, cenotes, and other sources of water. Like the aspects over which he presided, he was considered benevolent and caring, but unpredictable. Physically, Shark was depicted as a reptile with hair tangled and unruly knots, and his colors were white, red, yellow, and black, representing north, east, south, and west.
Janchaki. It is busy today. Kukul Khan may have promised we'll thrive, but many make their own offerings. Unurato and her rebels are the true sons and daughters of Baititi, if you're asking. I'm not the only one who thinks it either. Just the only one with the guts to say it, apparently. The cleansing is upon us. And it should be Unuratu's line that sacrifices Kukukan to restore the sun, and not the other way around. But thoughts like that have a way of getting people dead. So it's no wonder they aren't voiced. The Aztec used these to burn incense so they could communicate with the gods. Still smells of copal. The peak of this mountain is hidden behind thick clouds. I can't be sure what these two smaller hills on either side of the mountain are supposed to represent.
Taita que choco y yetele la. A Alex Tiokio. Cautales le guaquita. Le coloco. El peque es un jitu mengua más leta que el chile. La loba hatch uts. Malop con bolsos. Have you met Paimo Ishiki? The fool thinks the gods punished him. <laughs> Lazy bastard. <laughs> Come to plunder, outsider. Great warriors have failed the challenges. The hidden places offer rich rewards, if you survive. What are you talking about? A rite of passage. A test to separate the corn from the stock. A trial that all cultist warriors must face. Nothing for the likes of you. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Then find the path of battle. See if you and your arrogance can survive it.
This figure must be the Nowl, the mythological beast stalking the outskirts of Paititi. Bit of a grim welcome. I'll have to watch my step. Maya goddess Ishel, like moon goddesses in many other cultures, was also a mother deity associated with pregnancy and childbirth. The natural phenomena over which she presided included waterfalls, rainstorms, and rainbows. She was also the goddess of all crafts, such as watercolour painting and weaving, which she invented. But she wasn't exclusively nurturing. Her hair consisted of living serpents, 
She wore a skirt made of bones and she had a legendary temper. Obsidian blades never dull. The gate's open. Now I'll just have to get over there. Kukul Khan says they won't fear us if we are not capable warriors, and to become capable we must complete the tests their people have made. These Paititians know nothing of war. Their blades and spear tips have dulled. I will complete their rituals, and I will show them the true might of those who follow Kukul Khan. Come, those who imagine themselves brave and bold, see if you can survive the trials awaiting within. Those who do will have earned their status as warriors. Yes, 
Now for the other side. be able to climb this. Do not leave the city. Those who leave become cursed, forced to wander the jungle and never find peace.
This obsidian-tipped arrow was snapped in half. It looks similar to those used by Unaratu's rebels. If they went up against Trinity with these primitive weapons, they never had a chance. This could be interesting. I've left and come back and no demons haunt me. Was I just lucky or has the cult lied to us? What do they have to gain from keeping us here? like gold. There's something on the other side. May Olanta find the clays and metals of the afterlife suitable to her craft. <laughs> Yaskar Yahweh united the two sides, ending the war. However, their blood still boiled. In order to placate the soldiers, someone must be punished. Yahweh rounded up the merchants believed to be responsible for the conflict and sacrificed them. Shit! This won't be easy. Okay, one last leap. <laughs> Hope this is worth the trouble.
beautiful. Good day. Look what I have for you. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. The gods favor us both. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. Thank you, friend. Come see. Ah. Welcome. Very good. Come back soon. The pilgrimage came to a fork of two rivers and decided to settle. They erected two pyramids and began their new lives as protectors of the box. Someone's taking this old walkie-talkie apart. Were they making an attempt at reverse engineering, I wonder?
careful, friend of Unuratu. The Jaguar warriors. Don't get too close to them. They are always watching for rebel activity. And they have no mercy. Mama says it upsets the waterfall's waka if I play in the cave. She just thinks it's too dangerous, even though there's all kinds of neat stuff in there. Born to famine, raised in rebellion, orphaned but never alone, he rises as the sun. Thirtieth of November, sixteen o three. With a local man as a guide, Lopez, the soldiers, and I set out from the city before first light. Just as well as a terrible flu began to spread through the population, Lopez is convinced this artifact does not lie in the city itself, but somewhere just outside. I asked if it was not somewhat hypocritical to enlist the help of those loathsome people. Do not loathe them, he said, any more than you would these molasses. They are all creations of the Lord our God, as are we. I told him I was stunned to hear him speak in this fashion, but he took my hands and we prayed. The energy of his faith ran from him to me, until I felt the chains of doubt fall from my heart. The Inca used a combination of freeze-drying and salt to preserve just about anything edible. Chaki and chunos are basically meat and potatoes. Delicious. Kachbal kichkelimech uchi. Utsel jetelalap olech. Mantach ti yanech tagotoche, mahel bishishiri, al kabil binik tupach le mehe shulubo, onah kachim betik humpelu yotocheleti, onahim betik kachil. This describes something nearby. A lone sentry stands guard over me and his harvest. Ah, my love, don't. Why? 
This Spanish document relates one of the many stories of El Dorado, the Golden One. When the first Spanish exploration ships returned home with their holds full of gold, the news spread like wildfire, and the stories got more extravagant with each retelling. Rumors of the Golden City gave birth to countless expeditions to the New World. Mesoamerican people used this stone as a tool for processing grain and seeds. Huh? Are all these young people crazy these days? I've seen kids scramble like goats in the heights above the village. Scares me to death. I hope you've grown out of your wild stage, young woman. Uh, not quite yet, I'm afraid. Of course you haven't. But you will. So will these children. They will tire of whatever they've found up there, eventually. I don't know. We're trying to keep a low profile. I would go. I can't abandon my post here, and time is running short. It would mean a lot to Queen Unoratu and the rebellion. 29th of November, 1603. After dinner, Lopez left the city. I followed, worried he might not return. I found him standing by the riverbank, lips moving as though in prayer. Not wishing to disturb him, I waited. His communion with God must have lasted through the night and I regret to admit I fell asleep, for the next thing I knew, Lopez stood smiling serenely over me, the morning sun behind him, creating a halo. He helped me to my feet and clasped me in a strong embrace. True Elos, I know where to find the artifact, he whispered in my ear. I don't think anything could have prepared me.
These ceremonial ceramic jars are used to store corn beer or chicha. The bottom of these apu are usually pointed to aid when pouring into smaller serving containers. This describes something nearby. The youngest of four turns his back on his brothers, unable to speak as I lie in his mouth. Oh my god, this is a penguin lawn ornament, painted and decorated and placed in a location of reverence. I shouldn't laugh, but it's so incongruous. The locals wouldn't be able to identify the animal it's intended to represent, and they certainly wouldn't be familiar with the material the statue is made from. There isn't any plastic in Paititi. I'd love to talk to whoever did this and learn why, what they think this penguin is. At last. This describes something nearby. The waters below protect me from the waters above. Thank <laughs> you. 
beware. We've uncovered a wolf den in the area. But then again, maybe that is why you're here. What do you mean? The gods have sent one outsider to hunt another. Very appropriate. Best of luck on your hunt. During a fierce battle, a man of two bloods throws down his weapons and, speaking with passions, convinces the other warriors to do the same. They follow him from the battlefield into the city, where they behead several merchants whose initial bickering caused the war. I caught a fish once at home, in the well. Papa says it's because there are tunnels filled with water under some houses. Funny, huh? Do you believe that major events in life can be traced back to a single moment? I do. Take what's happening now. Had Amaru and Saidi not fought that day during the famine? And had Saidi not insisted, despite Amaru's wishes, that it should be him who would go beyond the safety of the borders to hunt for the village? Perhaps things would be different today. You see, Amaru felt responsible for his brother's death. I heard him the night they pulled Sairi's body from the wilderness. He was beside himself with grief. I think that was the moment. It broke Amaru. He took complete control of Paititi after that. He wanted to protect us all, because he couldn't protect Saidi. I can see you, even if... Are you okay? No. Pisco the dead took my dice, and no one believes me. But he took them. A dead man took your dice. Are you sure you didn't lose them? Ugh, you're as bad as the rest of them. I'm sorry, you're right. I'll tell you what, I'll pay very close attention, and if I see Pisco the dead, I'll ask for your dice back. Really? You believe me? It won't be the first time the dead seem to speak to me. This describes something nearby. Seven golden birds perched here and there. One escaped to the trees with his treasure. Dropped from his talons. I'm waiting for you. Are you Pisco the dead? You can see me? At last, Pisco is seen. Are you also dead, Ishiki? No. So you are Pisco the dead. 
I am Pisco, servant of the gods. I'm Lara. Lara. Nice name, Lara. You are not dead. Neither are you. Oh, but I am. As a child, I was to be sacrificed. I was brought to the mountain. The ritual was completed, but... But you survived. Only my body. I am dead to all my friends and family. I live by the offerings that are left for me. I met a boy who says Pisco stole his dice. Taki? He's the son of a very arrogant noble. He insisted we play a game. He lost. I don't have many things, but I won those dice fair and square. If you want, I'll play you for them. Do you want to play a game? What's the game? Talk to five people who have been cast out. Hear their wisdom, and tell me why Taki lost. And I'll give you the dice. I can do that. Our love was blessed by the great Kondo. Hello. Hello, Ishiki. It's rare to see outsiders in the city. Pisco sent me to speak with you. Ma, Pisco. I like him. You've seen other outsiders? Only one. He was handsome, gentle, and kind. We were in love. But our love is forbidden. Outlawed by the cult of Kurkurkan. That's awful. I'm sorry. I was sentenced to death. Tied to the cliffs and left to die. On the third day, I welcomed death. That's when he found me. The outsider. He freed me and treated my wounds. Who was he? I don't know his name. It's been many years, but I still hope to see him again. I often return to the cliffs, near the condor nests and collect their feathers. They remind me of him. That's a remarkable story. Thank you for trusting me with it. Thank you for listening, Ishiki. This will be useful. Maleti le jabob le gelo. Hach cacas, mató bien. No ve yete, cuki me sajó. ¿Quién viste pachi? ¿Te come lo más? Why capybara? Hello. Are you an outcast? Yes, Ishiki. Hello. I heard you talking about a white capybara. Oh, not just one. There are many of them. Pisco sent me to speak to all those who were cast out. You're a hunter. I am now. I was once a farmer, but that wasn't a life for me. I felt trapped. Forced to live up to the duties and expectations brought down by my family. I finally refused and went my own way. And a white capybara was responsible? No, Ishiki. I heard of them. One night they assaulted my field, trampled everything, but I did nothing to stop them. I just watched. They gave me an idea. A herd of this capybara, all white. What if I could hunt them? What if I could finally get away from the fields? So you did it? Best decision I ever made. My father disowned me, gave the farm to my sister, but that's fine with me. I'm a hunter now. They call me Paimo the White. <laughs> Thank you for the entertaining story, Paimo. Thank you, Ishiki. Hello. Are you one of the outcasts? Yes, Ishiki. I'm Chaska. I'm Lara. Pisco sent me. Pisco the dead? Sent you to me? Did you lose a game of Patoli? 
No, a boy Taki lost his dice. I'm trying to win them back for him. Pisco wanted me to talk to all those who've been cast out before he gives them back to me. I'm surprised he didn't try to play you for them. He is. Ah, well, all I can tell you is this. Like Pisco, I was cast out. I lost my job and my position. But not because of an accident, because of something I did and would do again. What happened? Do you have any children? No. Neither do I. I did not receive the blessing of Ishel. But for my mistress, I was the midwife for her three children. I loved them like they were my own, until I lost my position. What did you do? I'm a thief, Lara. What did you steal? A jade necklace. Why? The youngest, Kiara, she saw the necklace while visiting a friend. She took it. They were coming for her. They would have cast her out. She was an only child. I said I took it. My mistress took the necklace from me and threw it on the floor, breaking it. And cast me out instead. I'm so sorry. Don't be sad for me. I would do it again. Kiara's learned her lesson, and she has a good life. As for me, I serve Ishel now through my weaving, the way my mother taught me. And my Kiara comes to visit me sometimes. Thank you for sharing that, Chaska. Kiara was lucky to have you. Be well, Ishiki. You said I'm alive. Hello? Peace goes at me. Ah, did he? Did you say you were cast out for lying? No, Ishiki. I was cast out for telling the truth. That was my mistake. What happened? Should I say I've never seen an outsider? If no one believes the truth, it never happened. Oh. What outsiders? They dress in black and have strange weapons. They hide gold. I told the cult about the gold and the outsiders. They cast me out for lying. Lying? The gold was for them. One day, the cult will be exposed for its hypocrisy. So what do you do now? I lost everything, Ishiki. My position, power, reputation. But it took me losing all that to finally see. I had no purpose, no calling. And you found one? Yes. I serve the future by protecting the past. Queen Unuratu's line are the rightful rulers of Baititi, not the cult of Kukulkan. Everything I see, everything I hear, everything I know, now helps the rebellion. A worthy cause. I send people to steal the gold shipments the outsiders deliver from time to time. They never change the drop-off point. Sounds like you're making a difference in a lot of people's lives. Thank you for sharing. It was nice talking with you. You too, Ishiki. Mm. <laughs>
see what I have to trade. Hello. Hello. You're Lara, aren't you? Uh... Pisco sent you. He did. I'm Moreika. <laughs> that was the second time I heard your name today, Lara. The cultists are talking about you. You're the one who started the cleansing. The one who found the key of Shakshel. I am. Oh, don't feel bad, child. The cleansing was long overdue. It must be decided. Do we continue or begin again? That's not an easy decision. Did you hear that, Rimac? Deciding the fate of the world is not easy. <laughs> I like this one. You're right, Lara. It isn't. And if the cult of Kukulkan decides, they will enslave us all and call it protection. Won't they, Rimac? <laughs> he doesn't talk much. The cult is acting out of fear. Fear of what? Fear of the outside. Fear of change. But the same threats that are outside are in all of us. Fear is the enemy, not change. Change is the only constant. But look at me rambling on, Dreamac. The lady must want to buy something to help in her search. That's not enough. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Mm, good deal. Enjoy it. Thank you. Mm, good deal. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Enjoy it. Mm, good deal. Thank you. You don't have enough for that. How can these shapes be Incan when they look like airplanes? Oh, I see, they're insects of some sort. Archaeology is a very delicate field of study. You have to put yourself in the mindset of people and cultures who died centuries before you were even born. Humans interpret strange phenomena based on what they already know. If the Inca had seen planes, they might have assumed they were some sort of bird. Given that, these shapes may not be insects after all. Some of them look more like fish. Pisco? You've already spoken to them, haven't you? I have. But you still don't see it. They all had hope. You need to do better than that if you want to win the game, Lara. Hope is one thing, but all those who have been cast out have thrived in their new lives despite their circumstances. Even you, Pisco. Well, I am the best Patoli player Paititi has ever known. <laughs> Not bad for a dead man. <laughs> Not bad at all. So again, what did you learn? I learned that sacrifice can make your life better. That you shouldn't be constrained by the legacy of your family. You can find your own path. Love is stronger than death. 
and you need to believe in something greater than yourself. But ultimately, you can't control everything. It's what you make of your situation that defines you. Well said, Lara. You're sure you're not dead? <laughs> Ducky thinks he lost his dice because he was unlucky. But it's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. I see that now. What did you think of Moreka, the outcast? She was expecting me. She seemed to know quite a bit about me. Ah, she knows a lot about everything, Ishiki. She has the most wondrous items in her shop. Artifacts known only to the gods. I saw... You were lucky you found her. She often travels outside of Paititi, gathering inventory. She seemed the most... optimistic. Of course she is. We have a saying in Paititi. We all create destiny. We don't choose our circumstances, only our actions. A lesson my friend Taki needs to learn. Well played. Thank you, Pisco. I'll bring the dice back to Taki. I found your dice, Taki. Oh, thank you. Didn't you say Pisco stole your dice? Everyone knows Pisco steals. According to him, you wanted to play a game and you lost. He wouldn't let me play again. Just one more roll and I would have won. Pisco wanted you to know. It's not the throw of the dice that wins the game. It's the skill of the player. Now that I have my dice back, I can practice more. Thanks again, Ishiki.
Location found. Hidden. Terrain difficult to traverse. Seems safe from the stranger's intent on forcing us into slavery. We found their hidden city easily enough, the coordinates from Trinity being correct. The natives did not trust us, and we entered the city with spears at our necks. There was a tumult against the people. We later learned a cohort of Inca had arrived the month before. Lopez spun a tale of our desertion from the Spanish army, for our hearts could not fathom the destruction they had and would continue to cause. And we gladly exchange any or all of our goods for shelter, if only for a short while. Reluctantly, they allowed us to remain in the city, on the condition we leave our armor and weapons in a small hut outside of the city proper. The men hesitated, and finally we agreed that two of us would remain outside, guarding the gear. Any squad venturing outside Khan must take special precautions in covering their tracks. We're close now, and the last thing we need is droves of tourists showing up trying to be the first to get the perfect selfies in the city.
This polished piece of silver is lined with gold and inlaid with turquoise gems. It appears to be a decorative mirror of sorts. An ornate filigree depicting Eshel is carved onto its backside.
This is the Aztec god Ipa Totec, who presided over the cycle of life, death, and rebirth in all its forms, including agriculture, vegetation in general, revolutionary conflict, and skin diseases. He tore his own skin off to feed his people, and is usually depicted wearing a suit of human flesh. This self-flaying may account for how often he's shown wearing stripes of different colors, predominantly yellow, but also tones of red and tan. After wearing the flesh of their captives for 20 days, devotees of Ipatotec would hold on to the skins for their medicinal properties. Where is my mother? She's settling matters between the guards and Hakan. What's it like outside by Didi? Well, a lot of things. It's a very big world. Bigger than Paititi? <laughs> Bigger than 100 Paititis. What? Will you take me there? I think your mother might have something to say about that. Hmm. What you're looking for is in there. How will I know when I found the right chamber? By the smell of death. If you survive, you can find your way back through the old irrigation system. I'll meet you there. Be careful. The cult often patrols there. A ceremonial whistle used during human sacrifices. The sound admitted from the skull-shaped instrument has been compared to the tormented screams of the dying and the dead. Its shrill cry is said to clear a path to the underworld for the recently deceased. The death whistle has also been used as an instrument of war, its cry striking fear into the heart of the unknowing enemy. The surging population and lack of civil planning caused the settlement many problems. Farmers clear-cut jungle to use the fertile riverbanks for their crops, resulting in a devastating flood in the first heavy rains. Overhunting forced hunters to travel ever further to find game. Several groups, each vying for a controlling interest in the settlement, debated often fiercely on the best manner of solving these problems. This is a formidable weapon, heavy wood lined with sharp obsidian teeth. It could easily stop an unarmored enemy, and if the blood stains are any indication, it has. Oh. 
All right. Through there. Having not heard from Lopez, some among the leadership began to have their doubts about him. Our group dispatched south to investigate. We sent the natives in first, uncertain those in the city had not killed Lopez on his arrival. They returned with reports of how sick the city was, and we quickly formed a plan to utilize this to our advantage. This seems to represent Unuratu leading a group in rebellion. There is a near total eclipse in the background. Smell. This must be the place Etsley mentioned. Steady, Laura, steady.
great. I guess I have no choice. Is this one of the rebels? A serpent with a silver eye. I'm on track. Yes, you there. Ugh, the smell keeps getting stronger. Laura, how's it going? I found another serpent with a silver eye. I must be getting close. You? Talking tattoos with Uchu. Tattoos? Yeah, you saw Unuratu's, right? It has a heron and an eclipse on it. That might have something to do with the silver box. I don't think so. Looks like this is the only way, okay? They use these urns to soak the viscera in oil. The lone figure appears in a state of peace, as though waiting for something. Full of oil and blood. Is this some kind of bloodletting chamber? Must have taken hundreds of sacrifices to get enough blood to feed these channels. Okay, now to bring that barrier down. Now, to find the silver box. what Trinity is missing.
There's the little rebel prince. to ask you. I think it's a favor. Okay, I'll make my way back as soon as I can. I've never seen Uchu so angry. Uchu? Really? What happened? Mm, I shouldn't gossip, but he and Kabil were arguing. They kept their voices down, but you could see the anger rising off of each of them. Galanta Betty. Unaratu. Hatsley's been captured. I know. They're holding him at the barracks. We're working on a plan to release him. I tried to get him, I'm sorry. He's a warrior. What's that? Oh. This is a key. It looks like... It looks like it belonged to the mountain temple. It is adjacent to where they're holding him. Is the box of each shell connected to the barracks? Is that why the cult occupy the temple? It's heavily guarded. When we go in, it has to be subtle, silent. Is there a back way? Th there was one by the salt mine, but it has deteriorated. It's treacherous. I might be able to manage it. Perhaps. You did survive the sacrificial pit. I haven't been back inside since I was a child. But from what I can remember, the barracks are within an inner stronghold. If can get in through the back way, I can clear a path and let you in. We will free Epsley, then go find the box. I'll take care of my son. You go after the box. Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? 
The day of Edsley's coronation is approaching. Soon he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father Sairi died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father onto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the Champion's bow, and the King's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. Tell me what you need and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. Again, Ishiki. I'm happy to have my dice back. Father, father, come quick! It's the Ishiki! What do you want? We don't have time for Unuratu's rebellion right now. Are you Kabil? Uchu sent me for the king's. The king's horn? The call to the future? <laughs> Look at the good that future's done for my present. Just go! The cult found out my dad was making the horn. They poisoned our crops as punishment. Mom got sick. My brother Kuali went to the market to get herbs, but he hasn't returned. That's terrible. Let me see if I can find your brother and get the herbs you need. Thank you. Did you hear about Kuali? No. What happened? Fali took it upon himself to steal the... Excuse me. Ah, Ishiki. How can I help you? I'm looking for Kuali, the son of Kabil. Oh, that poor boy. Chimali, one of Kukulkan's thugs, is holding him in a cell up at the market, waiting for the Ahau to come to punish him. Thank you. Be well, Ishiki. You to shut up. Please. A herb thief. He must be very dangerous. Today it's theft, and tomorrow it's murder. That's quite a leap, don't you think? You really want to know what I think? I think we should round up all these little rats and drown them. Every one of them, especially Yumil. His father may be a serpent guard, but he is not. should be punished. Hello there. The Ishiki. Wonderful. More attention we don't need. What do you want? I'm trying to help Kuali. The thief. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death for stealing. Seems harsh for petty theft. You can judge when he steals from you, outsider. Well, thank you for the information. Whatever. Hello, Ishiki. My shop is closed. There was an incident. I'm trying to help Kuali. Oh, poor Kuali. He was here. He stole some herbs for his mother. I wish he would have asked. I would have helped. What happened? The guard was right there. He saw it all. Even if I had said something, there was no way to deny it. Now they will make an example of him. Thank you. Hello there. Hey, 
You're Ishiki, from the outside, right? Yes, it's nice to meet you. Well, ni, I'm Yami. <laughs> what sort of game are you boys playing? It's not a game. My father is a serpent guard, a priest. I took his ceremonial knife to show my friends, and Shimali the guard saw. Shimali knows what father would do if he found out I took the knife, so he threw it up there. Now it's stuck. Oh, let me see what I can do. Wow, really? Thank you. Thank you, Ishiki. You're welcome. Hey, wait a minute. The grown-ups around here always chase us away. But you helped. What do you want? Shh, I'll do the talking. So what do you want, Ishiki? I mean, is there something we can do to pay you back? I'm trying to help Kuali. You're too late. He's been sentenced to death. We can't do anything. And Chimali the guard hates you. Would Chimali chase you if you provoked him? Why? Because if he's not at his post, I can get to Kuali. Yeah, I like it. Oh, you can tell Kuali to meet us at the cave. He'll know where it is. It'll be safe for him there. I will. Let's go. Asto, Remy, with me. Samin, watch our backs. Then run to the cave. Stand back, Ishiki. We'll give you an opening. Shimali, you coward! You'll end your life as a slave! Come taste my blade! <laughs> yeah, and these llama patties, too. Run, run! Please, they were just herbs. I beg you, I'll work it off, I swear. Your brother told me of your troubles. Wait. Who are you? Someone who wants to help. I never wanted any of these to happen. I was only trying to help my mother get well. Where are the herbs? Give them to me. I will heal your mother. Go. Your friends are waiting for you at the cave. Thank you. Here are the herbs. I'll run as fast as I can. What were you doing with your friends near the wilderness camp? Yes, mother. I thought I told you to go. Kuali is safe and I have the herbs your wife needs. Really? And did you come to cure her or to barter for the king's horn? Here, this will help you. Bless you, Ishiki. Kabil, quit being an ass. Give her the horn. <sighs> Here, with respect to the future king, thank you for all you've done. Thank you. Last to leave and first to return. Jonah's stories of you are true. The King's Horn, as requested. Did Kabil give you any trouble? You were right about his wife. She definitely had a way with his heart. Thank you for this, Lara. Of course. Uchu, what did you mean, last to leave and first to return? 
The men I have retrieving the other two items, they both left three days ago. Neither has returned. Do you think something's happened to them? It's Quenty that concerns me the most. He's young, likes to take risks. Jumps into the water before checking to see how deep it is. I know the type. Jonah. Jonah's right. That describes Quenty perfectly. I never should have sent Quenty to that damn place. Mm, what place is that? The old sister. It's where the remains of Manko are kept hidden from the cult. Who is Manko? He was a farmer who led Sairi and Amaru's ancestors out of Cusco to safety centuries ago. He is known as the peasant savior. It's his amulet we need for the coronation. Why was Manko hidden away? Manko's followers were known as the Order of the Peasant Savior. This rebellion was born from it. When the cult of Kukulkan first took power, they tried to wipe out the Order. Manko was hidden away in a secret place and kept safe. But over time, as the Order dwindled, the memory of that place has faded. If you like, I could go look for Quenti. You've done a lot already. Bringing back the King's Horn was a big gesture of friendship. I don't mind, really. Maybe Quenti can show me the best cliffs to jump off. Please don't encourage him. The entrance to the cistern is a cave above the white tree. Follow the trail, it'll lead you to it. What are we doing here? I never wanted this to happen, now Etsley's been captured. Etsley's a strong kid. Yeah, he's a warrior. I know, I still hate this. I hope he's okay. Me too. Uchu's confident they can get him out. Uchu said the entrance to the cistern was a cave above the white tree. There's the entrance. threat of the disease held at bay, we soon learned that Lopez had come and gone. Some of us began to suspect his betrayal, while others worried for his safety. The only course of action was to remain in the city, the reasoning twofold. We'd be ready when Lopez came to his senses and returned the artifact, or this would be the easiest point from which to mount a search for him. We struck an accord with the king. We would become his royal guard, physicians, and priests. This shows a pilgrimage from a great city. 
This must be Manco, leading the priestess's ancestors out of Cusco. <coughs> no one's been through here in centuries. This has to be the right place. This could be an effigy of the peasant savior. It might have been stolen by the cult of Kukul Khan to keep the Paititians from worshipping it. Or maybe it was given to them as payment for protection. The remains of the peasant savior have been moved to an undisclosed location. We've had reports of the cult stealing objects and artifacts and holding them hostage in exchange for docility. We will not allow such a sacrilege to happen to Manco. Manco's resting place. This looks suspicious. This looks like a procession of the dead. It's the order hiding Manco from the cult of Kukul Khan. This shows burial dolls, pottery, and textiles being placed in here with the dead. This wasn't just a hiding place. The Order turned it into a crypt. The Order left members behind as sentinels when they sealed the system. All these bones, they sacrificed themselves to protect this place.
Hello, Manko. Now, where's the amulet? Now, to get this back to Uchu. Pure silver. From what I understand, Manko was a simple farmer. This must have been made posthumously as an offering to honor him. There's light coming through this wall. Another sealed off passageway I met. Ah, Lara. Quenty returned a short while ago. A little worse for wear, but alive. I'm glad to see you are okay as well. That system is quite a challenge. I'm happy Quenty made it back. Uh, but without the Savior's amulet, I'm afraid. You mean this Savior's amulet? What? Lara, you found it. That's incredible. Here. I can't thank you enough. When Zan returns with the Champion's Bow, we will honor all of the gatherers. Including you, if you join us. I'll be there. Jonah, I think I'm close to the mine entrance. Uchu says it's at the edge of the mountain. He sent a rebel ahead to open it. Thanks. Here it is.
Tabuji Kuhelani? Tulaka Tubusha. Telugu. Teiko. Taktehao Tabuji. I'm in. Unuratu just left with Hakan. She'll be ready when you open the gate. Malo bin Lak. On the right track. Careful. The ship al chuko so okwautan tak belama. Mauka tuyal, tuskuta kikuba, le kushul makobo. Waksak hola le nonoh. Vale misbalu belal. Yankoksik tuyole kukulkan le bejo. Minja, minma. This looks like the right place. There's the gate I need to open. Kenke, Titu, la ti... I need to open that gate. The gate mechanism might be on the top of that wall. <sighs> I don't have enough space for that.
Boom, Tuni, Shokol, Kalanpil! Mother! Would you get him out of here? Jonah. How's Edsley? Fine. They got him out, but Unaratu was captured. Oh no. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm going off to the box. I don't know how long it'll take. Do what you have to. Thanks. The Eye of the Serpent. That's it. There's a temple down there. <laughs> I don't have enough space for that. All full up. Can't carry any more. 26th of November, 1603. At dinner, Lopez asked me if I believed these heathens were worthy of the artifact's alleged power. I had to admit that the Pytetians seemed noble and industrious. However, their taut skin stretched tight over sinewy muscles, and lack of shame made them more similar to beasts. And what of our leaders in the society, he then asked. Should they be able to wave their perfumed and ring fingers in any direction and expect us to obey, to return and sit at their side when they beckon? Do they not treat us as inferior beings, as beasts as well? I had no answer. What he'd said was heresy and treason, but in some way I wondered if it wasn't the truth. <laughs> I got Unaratu captured. What's Dominguez gonna do with her? As long as he needs the box, he'll keep her alive. <sighs> I hope.
Who made these things? It's not Maya or Inca. It's high, but I could dive. Another example of syncretic belief. This figure portrayed on the cross is not Jesus Christ, but Kukul Khan. I suppose a parallel could be drawn between the two. Oh. 
All full up. Can't carry any more. They carried a sacred object to a great temple. The Box of Eshel. What was that? The detailed engravings on this helmet, in its unusually good condition, could mean this helmet was worn more as an accessory, rather than protection in combat. Perhaps Lopez used it to project an air of importance. Full up. Can't carry any more. A rubbing taken from the walls of the cenote. It is simply a large X and the word run. First of December, 1603. We've entered a cenote not far from the city and set up camp in a small alcove. Lopez has spent the evening staring into the flames, utterly ensorcelled, his dinner untouched. Twice I attempted a conversation, but his silence rebuffed me each time. He is utterly focused on this artifact. If I were a more superstitious man, I would wonder if the artifact is speaking to him directly. The soldiers keep to themselves as well. They seem anxious for battle. One of their dogs stared at me all evening, as though I were to be his next meal.
There must have been an incredible battle here. seems to be some kind of primitive sculpture of a human.
built to keep people in, not out. A Spanish galleon? How did it get inside this cavern? Even rusted out, you can tell this is a quality weapon. It was likely manufactured in Toledo. The city was renowned for their steelwork. The notches on the blade suggest several battles. Falconet's in position. Yeah. <laughs> 
the boom swung out too far to reach. Underestimated the natives, crafty bastards. Told us of a cave filled with gold, but they led us into a trap. The damn place was filled with monsters. After a ferocious battle, we pushed them back. The remaining men loaded the ship with whatever valuables we could find. The battle must have weakened the cabin, for when we tried to escape, it collapsed. I hear them out there, even now, digging through the barriers. to abandon ship. The exit must be past the temple.
must be the Trinity soldiers who went missing.
to move. Full up. Can't carry any more. This rosary has six decades, instead of the usual five. A very ornate example of the Brigantine version. There appears to be an engraving, Andreas Lopez.
Dated. Strange warriors pursued us through the caverns. We moved quickly, too quickly for an accurate description. Most of the soldiers fell in battle. They were valiant, but outmatched and outnumbered. Eventually, Lopez, I, and a single surviving soldier reached a magnificent temple. I cannot imagine how the people managed to build such a structure so deep underground. A massive door blocked our progress. Lopez, his voice frantic and breaking, ordered Perez, the last remaining conquistador, to stand guard while we worked on the mechanism. The door began to roll open. Our celebration of success was drastically cut short by the dying screams of Perez. The sound haunts me still. of December 1603. A strange noise woke me in the middle of the night. I found Lopez still staring at the fire, though now it was nothing but coals. I asked him if he'd heard the noise as well, but all he did was grunt. I wrapped a blanket about his shoulders and built up the fire again. Then I sat and listened. Far off shrieks and hisses, likely distorted by the twists of the caverns. But underneath all those sounds, I heard a faint thrum. I've heard something like that before, but rarely, and only when in the deepest of prayers, it sounded like the voice of God. Behind that door. Pull up. Can't carry any more.
All right.
This is promising. Get the water flowing to the wheel. These figures, they look like those creatures, but they're graceful. Yes, shield, goddesses of protection. The silver box of Ishel was forged in paradise and brought to earth. Did those creatures make the box? Neither false gods nor zealots shall be allowed to pass. They're protecting it. Is that why they fought me so viciously? Here they keep the box until the sun's renewal. Here. It has to be here. Clips and a heron, like the tattoos on Inaratu's arm. But where's the box? Oh no, a full shock.
can use these to climb out of here. Jump. There's no other way. Thank <laughs> you. 